Hello, Miss Moody here. This is a video for my new Venus class who will be in year one in September. So it's been really nice to spend a couple of days with you over the last couple of weeks. And I thought I'd just come on and read your story today for you to enjoy. So today we're going to have this story. It's called Barry the Fish with Fingers. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Puffy the puffer fish could blow the best bubbles, you can see in here. Other fish would come from miles around to see his bubble blowing show. Big bubbles, small bubbles, round bubbles, square bubbles. They had never seen anything quite so amazing. You can see all the different shaped bubbles. Until they caught sight of Barry. Barry was no ordinary fish. Barry was a fish with fingers. Suddenly, everyone wanted to find out more about the amazing fish with fingers. What can you do with your fingers? Barry, they asked. Tell us, tell us. Well, said Barry, fingers mean finger painting, knitting, cutting and finger puppets. See all his puppets there. But best of all, fingers mean... Tickling. There he is, chasing all the other fish. The fish had never had so much fun. Come on, Puffy, join in, said Barry. But Puffy didn't want to join in. He was feeling sad. Now nobody wants to see my bubble blowing show, he sighed. I hate Barry's fingers. They're stupid. Very kind of it. So while Puffy sulked on his own, Barry and the other fish had a whale of a time chasing each other through sea caves, in and out of seashells, and through the seaweed. But all of a sudden, Barry stopped dead in his tracks. He heard a large splash and a rumbling noise. Then the sea got darker, and a big shadow covered the ocean. Oh no, cried Barry. Oh no, cried the fish. A huge crate had fallen into the water, and it was going to squash Puffy. See Puffy down there. Quick, Barry, do something, cried the fish. And that was when Barry did something truly amazing. He pointed. Fish can't normally point, can they? They don't have fingers. Look out, Puffy. See him there, looks scared. With a loud crash, the crate hit the seabed. Was it too late? Had poor Puffy been squashed? No, what do you think? Phew. No, he hadn't. Thank you, Barry, said Puffy. You saved my life. I'm sorry for being a grumpy spoil sport. Can we play Tickle Chase? But Barry had a better idea. Let's party. Take it away, Puffy, he cried. So Barry played the piano. Puffy blew the trumpet and everyone had the best time ever. So I hope you enjoyed that story and I'm really looking forward to meeting you probably in, properly in September and being the new Venus class together. So have a lovely summer and I'll see you soon. Bye.